In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to perform uh, web application firewall detection and fingerprinting using the Nmap scripting engine. Now, again, this is a continuation of the HTTP enumeration section. And uh, yeah, without any further ado, let's get started. Now, before we, you know, actually start typing anything out, we need to, again, set up the, we need to set up a premise. Uh, when we're dealing with web application firewalls, I'm going to be targeting, you know, web applications, right, or servers that are running web applications either on port 80, port 443, port 8080, etc. right? So that's something you need to understand. Now, when we're talking about firewalls, we're not really talking about stateful firewalls here. Um, we are primarily dealing with web application firewalls. So when I when I say that, what I mean is things like mod security, uh, security, uh, Cloudflare, stuff like that, you know, anything that is a proxy between you and the web server. So that's essentially what I mean when I'm talking about a web application firewall. Now, we've already taken a look at how to detect, you know, the various HTTP methods. We, uh, we have learned how to perform, you know, how to use the HTTP enum script, which lists out any important uh, files and directories that you that are not, you know, publicly available or publicly listed uh, on the web server or, you know, through the web application, which again can reveal some uh, some really important misconfigurations that you can then exploit as a penetration tester. Um, now, when we talk about firewalls, uh, this is very important. It's a very important step because it allows you to to actually, uh, you know, conclusively detect or to to you know, it allows you to come to a conclusion as to whether or not there is a, a you know a, there is any filtering going on regarding your requests and whether or not they can be blocked, uh, you know, retroactively. Uh, you know, once a detect, uh, once an attack has been detected. So um, that's very, very important. Now, when you talk about, you know, performing uh, fingerprinting and, uh, you know, detection and fingerprinting with uh, the Nmap scripting engine, it's very simple. If I list out all the uh, Nmap scripts that uh, that actually, uh, that are to do, that deal with HTTP and web application firewalls, uh, you can only see, you'll see there'll only be about two of them. So if I just grab this and we say uh, HTTP WAF, right? So we say web application firewall, hit enter. You can see we only have two scripts. One of them is called HTTP WAF detect, which detects web application firewalls based on the response that the web application will send back. Now, the way this script does this is by sending a particular payload that is, uh, is structured in a certain way or is designed to, to actually generate or to prompt any web application firewall or filter to respond in a particular way. And based on that response, the script is able to tell what version or whether or not there is a web application firewall. When we talk about the HTTP WAF fingerprint script, again, uh, based on the response we get from the web application firewall, this script is able to tell what version or what web application firewall is running. Is it is it Cloudflare? Is it security? Is it mod security, etc. So given that we know all of this now, it's very easy to tell that, you know, we're going to be using actual websites as opposed to, you know, you know, vulnerable boxes, because you know, you know, actual websites are most likely going to have some sort of a proxy. And in most cases, uh, modern websites will have Cloudflare. So we can actually test this out. So I'm going to say Nmap. And uh, we will uh, start up a scan, we'll say ping, or we'll say don't ping, and uh, we'll run, you know, service version detection, or we can actually skip that. And uh, specify the port 443 or port 80, we'll target the nmap.scanme.org website first. So port 80, and uh, we'll then say script HTTP WAF uh, detect, and we specify nmap.scanme.org. And let's see whether we, you know, this particular website is actually behind a firewall or a, you know, particular type of a proxy that's filtering traffic. Um, in this case, you can see we, we don't get anything concrete and the script does not look like it actually ran. So what we'll try and do is, uh, you can see it performed the reverse DNS resolution for us. So we can try the actual IP here and it's saying that, all right, so we just hit enter and uh, let's see whether we're able to get anything here. So again, we don't get much here. So what I'm gonna try and do is switch up to one of my own websites. So uh, let's see. Uh, what if I try forum.hackersploit.org, uh, right? Forum.hackersploit.org. This is running behind Cloudflare. So it should actually tell me that it is running behind Cloudflare and uh, immediately tells us right over here that um, it did not scan the other addresses, which is a dead giveaway because 
Uh, with Cloudflare, you usually have various addresses for your website, both IPv4 and IPv6. Um, so again, we are not able to get anything concrete, and that's primarily because I, this is set to port 80, whereas uh, it's it's because it's running on HTTPS, it's going to be on port 443. So I'm just going to change that. So port 443, and let's see whether we're able to detect or whether the script is able to detect that there, you know whether or not there is a web application firewall in place. So that doesn't look like it's working or enumerating anything. It could be an issue with my IP address. So again, I'll just run this one more time. And um, we can actually, uh, I'll actually perform host discovery. But again, we're able to detect somewhat that, you know, the host is up. Um, so there we are. Uh, when I perform the scan on my website, uh, hackersploit.org, it tells me uh, under HTTP WAF detect that an intrusion detection system an in, uh, or an intrusion prevention system or a web application firewall is detected. Now, at the bottom, you'll see something very interesting. You'll see an actual custom payload or a request that has a payload that is designed to generate a particular response and based on whether or not there is a, a web application firewall protecting your web server or web application, a response will be generated. And then through that response, Nmap will be able to tell, hey, there is a web application or there isn't. So if I paste this and go, you can see immediately we get a 400 bad request. The plain HTTP request was sent to an HTTPS port. And what do we have here? We have Cloudflare. So that's how Nmap is able to tell whether there's a web application firewall. Now, I, as I said, my site is running Cloudflare. And in this case, it didn't tell us that it's running Cloudflare. And that's primarily because we didn't specify uh, the script, the HTTP WAF detect uh, or the HTTP WAF uh, fingerprint script. So we can actually specify that together here. So we say HTTP WAF and we'll say fingerprint. So we say HTTP WAF fingerprint and I'll hit enter. And uh, let's see whether we're able to actually, uh, you know, accurately fingerprint this firewall. And again, based on the, the payload that we, we were able to manually check, you can see that indeed it tells us we, you know, we, we have Cloudflare running. So um, I'll just wait for this to complete. And at the bottom here, um, it doesn't look like that particular script ran. So uh, let's see if we're able to run that manually or we're actually getting the, the the actual response at the bottom here so we'll just run that one more time um does not look like that script is working is that the actual name of the script let me just try and list out the scripts one more time it enter so it's http waf fingerprint i believe that is the case here and that is exactly what we specified um so i'll just try and run that one more time together with this one here so hackersploit.org will run it one more time and in the event it doesn't work again we get the payload that was sent and that uh, based on that payload we're able to tell you know whether there is a web application firewall running um so we'll just wait for this to complete and at the bottom again we don't get anything regarding the http waf fingerprint script so i'll just disable uh you know don't ping uh, that might work. I'm not really sure uh, based on the responses we're getting. So again, it's a bit of trial and error here. Um, but again, we all know it's running on port 443 and we should be able to fingerprint it quite accurately here. But again, we still don't get anything there. Let's try and switch this to my forum because again, that also runs, um, it also runs uh, behind Cloudflare. And of course, you can test this out, uh, you know, using all the other types of um, uh, firewalls or web application firewalls you might have in place so that didn't work uh say nmap.scanme.org let's try that one more time that doesn't look like it's running behind any particular firewall so it shouldn't give us any any anything particular so again it tells us that it's filtered which pretty much means that it's blocking our requests here uh for some reason primarily because this thing the scan might have been too heavy uh, so we run that and yeah, it's still telling us filtered. But again, there you are, uh, you know, based on the response that you're able to get using uh, any of these scripts, you're able to tell whether you have a, a web application firewall running uh, that is actually filtering or blocking traffic, um, you know, between you and the target. And again, it gives us the payload, which is very, very helpful. And again, based on that payload, we're able to, you know, fingerprint the actual web application firewall technology that is actually, you know, providing these services or is actually filtering the traffic. So that's going to be it for this video. And I'll be seeing you in the next video.